How do I destroy my recruitment business? Great question, huh? So there's a way of thinking. So often we focus on what is the solution to this problem. But let's focus on what the actual problems are. So think about this. If you come up with a list of five key drivers that will destroy my recruitment business, or what are the five things that will totally ensure I do not get to a million dollars this year in my recruitment business, what would those five things be? Well, number one, I must take on every role that comes in, or I must take on roles in different niches. So one role in IT, two roles in food and manufacturing, or one, one role at board level, one role at uh, admin level, etc. So we've got a complete hodgepodge of roles, industries, locations. Number one rule. Number two, I am the only person who can do this activity. Only I can close clients. Only I can run campaigns. Only I can interview the candidate. Only I can create content. So I must be in control of everything in my recruitment business. Number three, I absolutely must not have a plan in place that every 30 days comes down like a hammer. And on that 30th day, it shuts down. So I must not have a plan for the next 30 days that links to a 90 day plan and a yearly plan. And all of those plans are based on metrics with a financial, what are you getting into the business? So I must not have a plan that links from how I get to a million dollars, what I get in 90 days, what I get in 30 days, down to seven days. I must not have that. Number four, I absolutely must treat my business like a job. I must know that each day I go into my business, I must keep doing the same things. It's inherently important that the activities I'm doing in nine months' time are the same activities that I'm doing right now. They must be the same. Because if I start doing different activities, my role changes or ascends, that means my business will be changing and ascending. So I must keep the same activities in my business and I must check that every month I keep doing the same things. Number five. I must take the long route to doing this. Despite other people having gone from 100K to 500K or 300K to 1 million in 12 months, I mean hundreds, I must be the one person who takes the long route. I must know that it's inherently divisive in my brain if I think about what well, I want to get the seven figures, but also I must do it all myself. I must make every mistake myself. I must learn every single obstacle myself. I am so bloody minded, I will go through the wall, I'll go around the wall, but I must take the long route. So that I must destroy my recruitment business. There are five key fundamental rules for you to destroy your recruitment business. Now, inversion thinking. Other way. If we start thinking the other way around, as Charlie Munger says, that's inversion thinking. What's the antithesis of what I've just said? Those five rules, take them as five key milestones to start working towards. Be safe.